you might have seen me advocate that one dumpster right here should be removed right under this very um, traffic light. I've complained about it. Let me come down and show you properly. Yeah, so you see, if you're approaching from here, you will see that this bucket is right at the center of the road, just under a traffic light. You know, traffic light does a couple of things to control traffic and also to beautify a city. But see this one, it is right under the traffic light and at the center of the road that the vehicles have to go to the other lane in order to access this very road. Viewers and subscribers, this is BVI Channel 1. Um, today, I'll be going out on a road tour to monitor the ongoing sanitation exercise in Anambara State, specifically on in Onicha. As you know, it's the, the tradition of this state and most states in Nigeria to conduct sanitation exercise um, at the um, last Saturday, on every last Saturday of the month. So let us go and see what it looks like out there, the compliance, the enforcement, and the exercise generally what it looks like out there in Onicha because I believe huh, there are changes the government is sitting up and taking this environmental exercise serious so let's go out there and see what Chalewan Bafo has from the Anambara state respect to environmental sanitation let's go there Join me on this ride. In environmental sanitations, um, businesses are not expected to open. Everybody is expected to comply to this very exercise. And the government uh, under uh, Charlie Wamba for Charles Soludo is seriously taking this exercise as top priority. Um, from what we used to have before, uh, I can see from this very small market here, very little number of people came out as as before. Before now, you see people who don't even care about the sanitation. They open up their shops, carry about their business, and other motorists and the rest of it. So let's see if there is um, any change in that. And we also monitor some of the areas, the communities, or the streets. Um, like this very one, um, this is uh, a dumpster uh, where they normally dump a uh, refuse bin. You can see, I think this one is cleared. That's at, uh, that is at, uh, what do you call it? Um, at OJD by Uguta Road Junction. Anyway, that's by the way. Um, we are still out. Let's see what it looks like. Driving around town, you can see people who are cleaning up the streets and um, conducting the exercise. Still going to drive around the city to see what we've got there. Let's see what is happening down there. I can see a number of, um, you know, sanitation officers doing or clearing the streets. Um, let's keep going. Let's observe this route. This is the road leading to main market. Um, let's go down. As you can see, this um, this is what um, we expect Soludo to clear or bringing people to clear this drainage system have been opened let me come down and show you 
this is at post office as you can see this very drainage system have been reopened you can see this all this sand here came out from this very drainage system what is left now is for the people who are responsible to evacuate this to do that as quickly as possible before the rain washes it back into the drainage system you can see that here as well here is open that is in front of the post office so let them come take this one out before it goes back again into the drainage system so we are still on the tour let's continue Let me take this cut road and see what happens, what the situation looks like. Let's take this route, see what it looks like through the streets. This is Scotch Road. There is one dump site there, but I have my reservation about that very dump site located just right up there. I'm gonna show you something. I've since time and over, I've you know appealed to government, even the one of um, Obiano, but it fell on deaf ears. Um, this dump site here is really a pose a great danger on the children. I will show you why. Let me come down and see and uh, observe what is happening here. Let me come down and show you. This is a dump site right here. This very dump site here is right at the back of classroom blocks of primary school. Look at this school. This is a classroom block of a primary school. And you have this dumpster here. The smell is stenched. It's so bad. But if the government can relocate this very um, dumpster and put it somewhere else, it will serve better. They're trying to remove it, but sometimes if you pass through this place, it's really horrible. And for it to be kept right at the back of the classroom blocks, they should reconsider another place. I've talked about this before, and I believe saying it now will make more sense. Please, please direct people to remove this. I know you have value for education and for children. Let them remove this dump. Yeah? Just like the ones we've advocated before that have already been done. Let them remove this one because of the children. I'm going to show you the school in a jiffy. I'm going to show you the school. Let me show you the school. The school is just right up there. You see, that's the that's the the school wall. You can see the school, the primary school here, New Bethel. This New Bethel, the pupils always inhale the stench coming from that dumpster i've appealed to government in the past and i believe they should do the needful let me come down and properly show that to you you see that dumpster there you see that dumpster there you see that all the way come to this point that's the school all right so it should be removed you know, it's not supposed to be there. That very dumpster must be removed for the safety of the children. So we are still on the road tour. Let's go around more, bring you more, more reports. Driving up here, we can see some of the task force enforcers 
Honestly, I witnessed something very bad. Hello, this is press. Yes, okay, go, 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 go. Uh, allow, allow, allow. We see these are tax force um, operators, and um, it's really they brought these guys out truly to enforce these things, but. I saw something quite very, very nasty to see people, you know, trying to bypass the tax force. You know, Niger Factor now. Huh. I just saw that in a jiffy. But that's part of the things we see on the street. But our main focus right now is to bring to you that the governor is determined to, you know, bring sanity back respect to environmental sanitation the cleanup exercise and all of that so that's just our main focus all right we are passing through gra by um the local government going up towards um shop right let's see what we've got there Just busting out the shop right, going off towards um, Oka Road. Let's see what it looks like around there. There is something that is happening here. I want to observe very quickly. You might have seen me advocate that one dumpster right here should be removed, right under this very um, traffic light. I've complained about it. Let me come down and show you properly. Yes, yeah, so you see, if you are approaching from here, you will see that this bucket is right at the center of the road, just under a traffic light. You know, traffic light does a couple of things to control traffic and also to beautify a city. But see this one, it is right under the traffic light and at the center of the road that the vehicles have to go to the other lane in order to access this very road you see like i said earlier that um traffic light is meant to control traffic and also beautify the city before now there is used there used to be a dump here and i have advocated that it should be removed and i can tell you the government have removed it and also placed a fine of 10,000 naira for the falters. You can see that. You can see no dumping of refuse here, 10,000 by Aswama. So, as you can see, this has been cleared. I think this is one good thing that has happened to show that government is really listening to the voice of the people and doing the needful when necessary. So for, for them to remove this dump from here is a big plus as far as I'm concerned. So let's continue. Let's move on with the exercise. Just busting out at um, Okosi by New Cemetery. You can see the dumps there are being, you know, people are there doing what they can. And that's also you see a truck down there. Um, and also if you look around you can see people let me just do a little bit of a reverse and um, show the exercise people are just getting involved to you know be of help and usefulness to themselves because look at this you can see these guys here cleaning up in front of their vicinity clearing up the bushes these are part of the exercise it is expected that everyone should be involved okay to keep your environment clean is for your own good and that's what the government of anambra state is trying to reintroduce back into the norms and values of the anambra state to start taking responsibility for their own good
So we are just approaching um, Mena, uh, Menas Market down there. This is Menas Hospital right here by this corner. So this is Menas Road and it leads straight up to what you're looking right there at that T-junction is the Ochanja Market. That is Ochanja Market right there in front of you. And um, just trying to see you can see a very minimal in fact the markets are closed in fact i'm surprised the markets are all closed in compliance to the sanitation exercise this is quite applaudable this is a plus for this government I mean, honestly speaking in the past ever i figured out long if they don't mind whether the sanitation is up or not running but i can see the entire markets are shut down for this exercise that's a good thing that's a good thing that's a change of market for you so we're driving straight down to a change roundabout let's see what we've got there i see traders have already come to market you can see traders right here all many of them standing in front of their shops waiting for the time of the uh, the sanitation exercise to elapse so that they can continue their business but the group but the bottom line is that the markets are closed you can actually see this is such the market you can see the gate is closed you can see traders all standing aloof here you can see that's exactly what is happening you can see traders here that's exactly the effect of the exercise that's a quite a good one i must say So we're now approaching uh, Ochanja roundabout. You can see it's a clear case of compliance to the exercise with respect to shops and market being closed for businesses. But you can see some um, tricyclists and traders walking up and down, you know, very little number of people engaging actually in the exercise very little minimal number of people you know engage in the exercise too many people actually are looking at them too many of them too many people their only interest is to go out now my line shop that's what you're seeing right here all that you see here are just people who are only interested in their business look at them rooming about instead of staying to observe the cleanup maybe clean up their own environment or clean up their own streets they will not do that they will always want to be forced i think the government should up their game in enforcing this very um cleanup exercise that's my own take i don't know what the take is okay i don't know what the take could be please I want you to drop your comments on the comment section so let's get your opinion okay that is it that's where we're wrapping it up on today's monitoring or observing the sanitation exercise happening in Anambra State, specifically in Onita what's your thought on this um, I believe your observation is as good as mine the compliance level of the people quite very low um the government need to do more to enforce it so that people will start taking this exercise serious okay people are more interested in going to do their business you know that's their major interest but we need to do more to make our society a better place it starts with healthy living because health is wealth i'm also to peters the voice of the people the voice of god we have done our bit help us share this video drop your comments be part of this community to rebuild and make our homeland a better place stay safe at all time don't forget to subscribe follow us on all our social media platforms and stay connected always peace